Yeah, it was, uh, you guys realize it was an outstanding college game. You watched two of the very best guards in college basketball play tonight, and Skylar Mays and Brian Tyree. And, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to see seniors that, that, that get basketball. They both competed, made plays on each end, just time after time. And uh, as a fan, just watching the game, it had to have been fun to watch. Obviously, the free throw line was a difference in the game. They go 24-27. We go 9 for 19. We enter the game leading the SEC in free throw percentage. And uh, so that was, that was disappointing. We had a chance early in that second half to kind of stretch our lead and we just inability to make free throws. And they got back in it. But I thought, you know, we got down seven or eight, can't remember, and made a great comeback. And we just – had some just some mental lapses that the average fan can't see from Blake defensively. You know, where we're down two, we call a play for Brian and Austin Crowley just shoots a ball. Just shoots a ball. I and mean, I've you know, the play was wide open. Whether he makes it or not, I don't know. But, you know, so just we, we just had some breakdowns that you can't do against a real veteran team like that. Our free throw is somewhat like cold offense in terms of once a few guys start missing, it becomes yeah. kind of an avalanche. Yeah, I mean, K.J. Buffin's shooting nearly 90% in league play. He's been shooting them great. You just got to be tough-minded. You know, you miss a couple. You just got to go back and just start making them again, you know, and just avalanche. I mean, Devontae is still struggling, still struggling. And, uh, you know, for a veteran guard, he, he needs to play better. I know his heart's in the right place, but we just got to get him to be more productive. You know, he's 0 for 3 from the line. So, yeah, you're right. We just uh, – I mean, our assists, 19 to 10. You know, they have 10 to 16, and they, they wore us out on the boards, 47-31. Uh, points in the paint were even. Uh, we win the points off turnover game. I thought when we did that, we win the game. I really did, unless they just kind of got all offensive rebounds for buckets. So, uh, just couldn't make enough plays down the stretch. Four left, y'all were down three at the timeout. What, what did you have drawn up for Brian at that point? What yeah, we just called it 13. It's just throw it right to the three man, and we double screen right into for the corner shot. We usually run it for Devontae, but obviously, and, and, and their man was playing just right. He's off the ball, so he just set up perfect. He's wide open in the corner, and he just shoots it. So, you know, I, I, I get maybe a guy that's shooting the ball. I wouldn't even shot it if it's the first shot I've shot all night. But when the head coach is called a play, you know, and he, you know, and he's a great kid, but I'm not trying to blame it all on Austin either. He's gonna make some shots, but just wasn't the right timing. Brian had left the game early in the first quarter. Excuse me. Brian had kind of left the game, grabbed yeah. his back early in the first quarter, came back. How is the back? Like, what kind of went down there? Thirty-six points. I think it's fine. I mean, I think it's fine. I think I thought he tried to guard too. I thought he competed high level on both ends. I really did. And he kind of went awkward. You know, he usually dunks that ball, and I think it kind of, I don't know, it didn't seem like he, he didn't hit it just right, stepping. And uh, so I really thought he may have been hurt, but then, you know, he said he was fine. He goes right back in the game. The Crowley shot is kind of like uh, what you've been trying to get out of this team for a while in terms of not settling for shots like that. And, and I, I think 8 of 6 at the double bonus, uh, yard in the double bonus at 8 of 6, and it yeah. would drove, drove it like two more times. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I, and trust me, I'm not trying to, I don't want to make this, with Austin, you know, I don't. He's a great, a wonderful kid, and he's going to make some big buckets for us. But Blake settles way too much. He won't drive the ball, you know. And uh, Blake doesn't shoot a free throw tonight. You know, he shoots eight threes. You know, shoot contested threes. You know, we talk about long closeouts, driving the ball, force him to try to call. And uh, so he, he settled tonight, you know. So, uh, I mean, I, I, thought, I thought, you know, it's like Arkansas. We, 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 we played. We played good. Played, you know, so that's an SEC game. Uh, there's a lot of conference games around the league that, you know, you just got to win those. And we, now we've lost three of them, you know. And so, you know, that's why we sit here where we are in the league, and they're five and zero oh because they've won four of them. So. Responded after LSU hit those couple of threes. It was kind of like the Arkansas situation, but then you guys come back on that 18 to two run. Yeah. Is that growth? Was that something you were impressed with? Or oh yeah, yeah. I mean that, that's. That was great. I mean, we did. I mean, we got down and to a good team. We, we, we really started getting stops. You know, Brian started driving the ball. They really couldn't do much with him. And, uh, yeah, it was just we, we, we played really quality in that, in that period of time. You know, and then there's just like a, I don't know, a couple hand checks. I don't know, something. It just seemed like they're at the line a bunch. You know, and it, we didn't, it, it didn't have to make like twos, you know. And so, and, and they did a great job at the line. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Guys. Thanks.